come in more heat. The GOATS Ojuto. Gujo's Toronto Promotions, in association with Southpaw Promotions, brings fight fans six action back rounds in professional boxing's Wilter Weight Division. This contest is proudly sponsored by Caspian Tattoo, Lynchburg's premier tattoo studio. 30 years and still ticking. In settlement training, you bring the horse, we'll make the dream. In charge of the action at the sound of the bell is Hall of Fame victory, Wayne Espanola. Fighting out of the blue corner is a proud product of Sugar Burt Boxing. Tonight he wears the white trunks with pink trim. It carries an official weight of 147 and one quarter pounds. His professional record stands at five wins. Opposite three defeats with three big knockouts to his credit. Hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, introducing Ray, the Pretty Problem Barlow. And his opponent standing opposite fights out of the red corner this evening. He enters the ring wearing the Black Gladiator style trucks trimmed in gold. He comes into action at a battle ready, 148 pounds even. His professional record includes seven wins, three defeats, and five bouts scored even. He hails from Locust Grove, Virginia, and turns in. Extremely fighter, excited clearly, for this fight, Bruce. Clearly crowd favorite. <laughs> no love lost between the both of them. Let's go, Brock. Yeah, when you start getting to this level, usually you find that there's no love lost between either fighter. They'll respect each other at the end, but beforehand and during. Looks like the pretty problem is claiming the middle of the ring early. He's decided to stay on that jab, changing the levels of it. And changing the speed, my bad. Nice counter right hand by Rocky Zapata. Ray Barlow keeping <clears throat> Rocky Zapata busy with just moving that left hand constantly, never knowing when it's going to fire off of that hip. Seems like he's trying to baiting him a little bit too by hanging it low, or he's just trying to show no sign of respect. Very nice left hook by Rocky Zapata countering. He's trying to adjust that speed of the jab from Ray Barlow. Beautiful jab to the body. Nice counter right hand by Rocky Zapata again, reaching over at Ray Barlow's jab consistently. It looks like Barlow's cut. Ray Barlow's cut already? Yeah, it looks like no look. Rocky Zapata's Rocky. cut on the lip. Uh, yes, there it is. That was a good counter shot to the body by Ray Barlow. This is going to be a great fight for sure for the fans. Both have more of a feel out round. But they're throwing with consistency. I don't know if it's with as much power as they can, but... I think they're I definitely testing each other at the moment. I was about to say, I would like to see Rocky step in more. 
Ray Barlow is having an adverse reaction to the count to the punches by Rocky Zapata. He is keeping the pressure on him. Zapata is keeping a lot of pressure on Barlow right now. He needs to make Ray Barlow question question if he can continue the fight at all times. Stay busy. I believe that Rocky stole the round with that right hand and that it changed beforehand. Great first round for fans here. Only took three bouts to get out of the first round though. Great first round by both fighters. Ray obviously trying to stay back on his jab a little bit more, box and be of the ring general. Rocky Zapata trying to force the pressure with great combination punching. Zapata really swarmed at the end of that round. I think it made he was trying to make Ray doubt himself there for a little while. Ray did a good job covering up though. He didn't really let a whole lot through, a couple come through, but he kind of covered up, got out of there, and they kind of recomposed themselves right at the very end. I noticed at the end, at the, at the 10 second warning, he tried to get a couple more punches off. And he tried to get the round back. Yeah, get the round back. I think he was trying to end that round with a good impression that he's still in it. You know better than most, so in the, the fight game, it was a mental game. Oh yes, it's 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 about eighty percent mental, I believe. You know, both these both these combatants came in came into this fight with a hundred percent conditioning, but it all depends who wants it a little bit more. Great exchange by both fighters. Ray Barlow getting the better of it. He's sticking Rocky's left shoulder, trying to <clears throat> trying to suppress Rock's left hand a little bit more. Yeah, good combination by Ray after he took the right. Ray Barlow took one but gave yep, two. Yep. That's what you like to see. I would like to see Rocky open up with the counters a little bit more and make Ray Barlow question himself. You've seen when he, more the, than the one two maybe. Yes, yes. Ray Barlow is keeping him busy with that jab right now, just keeping him at the very end of it. He's also countering with the double body hooks. Seems like every time uh, Rock comes in with the one two, he's just throwing those double body hooks. You have to invest to the body. That's that's how you take a fighter like Rocky out of the fight. He moves well, he has great feet. You take that energy from him and he can't move as well. That's how you start to set down those punches. There's a good overhand left from Barlow there. Yes. I think Barlow feels like he's finding success with that overhand left. You can tell he's starting to use it a little more. Dallas Brewer had a great point. Rocky Zapata needs to start catching his angles rather than throwing his combinations and pulling straight back for that left hand and right hand. See, he stepped over and was able to counter Ray. Typically, he was stepping right back in front so he can get caught with that overhand left that he has been throwing. Overhand right, I apologize. Can't help but know that Ray is just throwing constant pressure. Even just in his footwork, push stepping forward. Constantly. He's Ray constantly is applying the pressure right now. Rock is definitely coming in with the punches and combinations, but Ray is the one pressing forward. Great foul. Great foul. Great foul. Yeah, great round for both of them. I have it even right now, 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna give Ray Barlow that last round. His, like you said, Bruce, he was constant with his pressure, whether it be his feet, his feint, or his punching. He's constant on Rocky Zapata. Yeah, I feel like Rocky was throwing a lot from his heels. Not because he wanted to, just because that was the position he put in. Ladies and gentlemen, a whole lot can happen in round number three, and it can be
Just a reminder to you guys at home, this is a six, six round battle. We got six rounds here, potentially. At this pace, I don't see it going six rounds. I know that Rocky Zapata is a tough competitor. He, is, he has been in the ring with many, many world-class talents like Charles Conwell. Still wasn't able to stop him. They both, they both landed clean shots, and you've seen that Rocky's was just a little bit more effective. Looks like Rocky's finding success with the uppercut, too. And you see, Bruce, he's starting to step off to that right side yep. of his instead of pulling straight back for that hand, for that counter. And he's finding those shots now because you can see it in Ray. Rocky is getting rough, and that's what you want to see from him. Beautiful fight from both combatants. Like they're both trying to refine themselves here. Trying to get that time. Rocky is constantly splitting Ray Barlow's left side, trying to land that right hand. The beautiful tactic. I would like to see him straighten the right hand out a little bit more. There you go, Rocky. Good job. Ray is trying to relax in the pressure of Rocky, keeping his hands tight, trying not to get hit super clean. Finding those uppercuts. Constantly. Another one. He's just landing the uppercuts on Ray right now. He's realized he's finding success with it. He's definitely keeping it right now. The smart decision by Rocky. He's he's gauging where Ray's at. Ray is starting to reach a little bit more. You get a little bit more desperate, you see. That right hand wasn't coming out in the first two rounds. Now it is. Great right hand by Rocky Zapata again. A lot Ray's, of heart with both fighters right now. Yes, Ray is trying to keep Rocky Zapata's pressure off with that deep stiff breath, right breath. hand to the body. It's a beautiful idea. He got called with the right uppercut, trying to throw that right hand again. Maybe not go to the well as much. Turn it up top, potentially. That was a good right hook to the body by Ray Barlow. Clean right hand by Rocky Zapata, making Ray Barlow reach again. Beautiful exchange by both fighters. I, I love to see it. Great, great. Holy moly. I don't know, Owen. I had to give that one to Rock. Even though there's a lot of action by both fighters, I say Rock still stole that round. He landed cleaner punches. He, they both had equal volume, but I think uh, Rock definitely got the better of most of those exchanges. Yes, I'm, I'm going to give that round to uh, Rocky Zapata also, Bruce. As, you, as we've seen in the first round and in the second round, Ray was constant with his pressure, whether it be his feet, fangs, or punching, but that round, you've seen Ray Barlow backing up a lot more. That, that's a telltale sign of either fatigue or worrying about the power of Zapata's punches. I, it, from what it looks like is he's just uh, he's getting surprised by the uppercuts. Honestly, I think the uppercuts are sneaking in there, making him get on his heels. It, it is making the difference. It's not that Rocky is punching as hard as he can, it's that he's landing the punches without Barlow seeing them coming. And those are the punches that hurt the worst. You and I both know, oh, yeah. Bruce. <laughs> the ones you don't see. I don't care how like they are. <laughs> they are always the worst, my friend. Yeah. Tell you what, I really like Ray's style, though. I, I really like how he's throwing the jab. He's using the jab, the left, the, the left overhand. He's just gotta, he just gotta get away and protect himself from those, those uppercuts. I, I, I think if he goes back to what he did in the second round, where he's applying that constant pressure, whether it's a jab or just walking forward, it would be going much more in his favor. Yes, I would like to see him change up that jab pace, just like he did just now. Stick back on it a little bit more, but Rocky, Rocky's trying to force the fight, and that's hard to hard to stop a man like Rocky Zapata when he wants to fight. Right. 
your hand up, Rat. Ray Barlow was countering with that good left left hook to the power every with time. It too. Every That's time. See, he tried to catch it again. That wasn't clean, but great try by him. It's hard for me not to be biased because Rocky Zapata is my stable mate, but Ray Barlow makes it easy for me to appreciate his type of work with that jab. Yeah. There you go. This is a back and forth contest right now. Ray Barlow is trying to control the round and get back. Get back in the fight on the cards. Yes, yes. Good right counter to the body again by Ray Barlow. See? Every time doubling that hook, doubling the hooks to the body. Beautiful. I'm with you. I would definitely like to see him change the speeds and the levels of the jab. Do we see? I've, I mean, do we see Ray Barlow cut from his left eye right now? He sure is. Yep. Yes, he is. Right above it, which it looks like Wayne is is watching closely. Veteran referee <laughs> Wayne Spinola. Oh, he's refed quite a few of my fights. I love Wayne. He he refed mine, and we talked in the corner. I told him, you know, I appreciate the art of boxing, so I appreciate people like Wayne Spinola loving boxing. One of the best reps in the game. We're very lucky to have his experience. I would like to see Rocky Zapata try to open that cut up of Ray Barlow a little bit more. Keep the blood in his eye. That was a beautiful counter right uppercut and a left hook by Rocky Zapata. You see Ray Barlow staying consistent with that counter right hand. There you go, nice. Get him with it again. Trying to keep him off of him. He's finding the hook still. Ray is still finding the hook. But Rock has definitely put on much more pressure. You can tell he's picked up the pace of his power, too. Yes, he is. It's, it's very apparent with the way he's growing that he's stepping the pace up. He is splitting him in half and eating him up with the right hand. I would like to see Ray Barlow step over to his own right side a little bit more to get out of the way of that right uppercut. I'm going to have to give that round to Rocky Zapata also. Looks like he's going to have the doctor come in and look at his eye possibly. We're going into the fifth round right now. I currently have Rocky Zapata up on the scoreboard. And put yourself in the mix to get that autograph boxing glove, which will be given out prior to the main event of the evening. I currently have it 39 37 for Rocky Zapata going into the fifth round. I want, to give a, I want to give a huge shout out to Scott Sigmund, toe to toe, to toe promotions for putting on a great show so far. Ray Barlow staying consistent, countering two hooks to the body, countering with that strong left hook up top. Very long jabs. He's got very long jabs. Very long. I would like to see him try to keep that jab out a little bit more consistently. Make make Rocky Zapata move a little bit more and work. Move his feet some. Beautiful counter right hand again by Ray Barlow. Even though we have Rock up in the cards, I can tell you what, Ray is still very much in this fight. Oh, I, I, I count very neither combatant out of winning this fight right now. Still See, yeah. Ray Barlow is throwing with consistent heat, and he's trying to hurt Rock, so there is no doubt in my mind that Ray Barlow is still in this fight, though down on the scorecards. And my scorecards still have it to the point where Ray Barlow can get a draw, potentially. Ray Barlow getting the better of this exchange right now. He came out, Ray came out this round, I think, knowing he's down in the cards. Do you see he's applying much more pressure? 
He's being much more aggressive. He, he is certainly trying to win the fight a little bit more than he was the last round. Last round he was a little bit hesitant staying back on that back foot, but now you see he's stepping forward even when he's fainting. That's a good job by Ray Barlow. That's what you want to see. Disguise those steps forward. He's fainting that right hand going to the body. That was a nice try by Ray Barlow. I don't know if it's just me, Bruce, but do you see Ray Barlow losing a little bit of sting on his punches currently? He looks like he's slowing down just a little bit, but he's also trying to be a little more creative. I, when I was watching there in the moment of silence, it looks like he's trying to be a little more creative with his feints, going to the head to the body and buy back to the head is what I was noticing, where he hasn't really done that at all in the first three rounds. Yes, he's making his feints a lot more elaborate and selling yep. them making it a lot more tricky. Beforehand, it was a little bit more basic, rudimentary. Yeah, he's trying to be, I feel like he's trying to be clever. He's trying to sneak those body shots in there. He's, he's going through the body, and then sneaking one to the head. That he, was a beautiful left hook by Rocky Zapata. Again, stealing the round with those types of punches, the way Ray Barlow reacts. I just can't help but respect someone who's five rounds into a fight, and they're still trying to pull out new tricks. It shows he's thinking. He's still thinking, he's still very much in the fight. He still wants to be here, and that's all you can that's all you can ask for two combatants. Constant, constant effort. <clears throat> Going into the sixth and final round. Bruce, who do you give that round to? That, that was a tough round, but I almost want to give it to Ray. I think Ray was the one that was a little more aggressive. He'd be more creative. He'd land some clean shots as well as Rock, but he's still very much in this fight, and I'd give that one to Ray. Bruce, I'm going to have to agree with you 100%. Rocky Zapata landed some cleaner punches, but Ray Barlow stayed consistent throughout the round, and stayed, stayed constant with the pressure. Rocky had his moments and had good shots, but overall body of work, I appreciate it, Ray's for that round. 100%. So now we are at 39-38, Rocky Zapata. Oh, oh, sorry, I misspoke, guys, I misspoke. Forty-eight, forty-seven, Rocky Zapata right now, going into the sixth and final round. Both these fighters came out of the corner like they know they need it to win this round. You can hear Rock's, you hear Rock's corner uh, yelling the same thing we were just talking about, that he'll be looking for a draw if he wins this round, right? That's in right. And, It's a wealth of knowledge in Rocky Zapata's corner. I'm not sure about Ray Barlow's, but I, I know Rocky Zapata's corner personally, so I know that when they're saying something, it's with the utmost knowledge. Clean right hands by Rocky Zapata, keeping the pressure. Ray Barlow getting back on that high guard, sticking his jab. Rocky Zapata gets caught when he pulls back in front of Ray Barlow. Why he needs to stay consistent with these angles. See, in front of him, again. You say he needs to split to the left. Yes, split the body in half and fight one side of the fighter rather than fighting both hands. See, staying in front, backing straight up. We need to see Rocky try to apply a little bit more pressure. Though him and his corner probably feel they have the fight in the bag, I would like to see Rock try to win the fight a little bit more. Shot, Rocky smells blood. I think he's going for it. I believe that Rock wants the stoppage right now. Ray Barlow is biting for the feints a little bit more. That's how you know that the power is there. Ray Barlow is giving a valiant yeah. effort, getting hit with clean shots. That's what you want to see from fighters. Getting hit with the best shots they can get hit with and still continuing to fight as hard as they can. Beautiful. Still pressing. Still pressing. Oh, 
Rocky Zapata has been deemed a nickname halfway through the fight. Rocky, the Panamanian problem Zapata. <laughs> Making a miss. The Panamanian problem has blood all over his face. This is a beautiful fight, fellas. Beautiful fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ray Barlow coming in after 10 seconds left in the fight. Still fighting. Great job, both combatants. Nothing, nothing but a round of applause. Great fight for this building. We needed it after those first two. We needed this fight. I hate to say it because I fought on the card, but that was the best fight of the night with blood on my table yeah. notes. We got blood all over us right here. So. And I'm not complaining, guys. This is what you want to see from from a there local goes my show. phone. <laughs> I get an alcohol wipe for my cell phone, please. Got blood splats all over it. Beautiful. We see Dallas Brewer and Scott Sigmund chopping it up after after their fight, talking about it. We see two completely different corners right now, though. One talking and one's a little bit more <clears throat> celebratory. The right word. walking around trying to get a reaction from the crowd looks like. Those days in good spirits. Both combatants need to feel great about themselves. They they went in there and they fought the best fight they could fight. Rocky Zapata walking around the ring feeling as if he won the fight already. of you at home just bear with us again with technical difficulties i know they're trying to work on sound and the and the, the video quality that make sure the stream goes for you guys consistently i know they're uh, battling with the wi-fi here so struggling with the sound but here we go back to the official to announce the official scoreboard i mean scorecards ladies and gentlemen after six rounds of absolute war we do go down to the judges' scorecards. Judge Leah Jackson, Jackman, scores the contest even at 57 to 57. Whoa. James Ambrose.
scores the contest 58-56 for Zabata. That is a scorecard I can agree and with. Final judge, Brian Pisani, scores at 59-55. To your winner, by way of majority decision, Rocky I don't know if you guys can hear the crowd, but I'm going to take this mic and I'm going to let it. Never mind, they stopped. That's why I don't touch it. <laughs> crowd going crazy for the Panamanian problem, Rocky Zapata. Young man, you showed both of those this evening. Talk to me about your performance and what went through your mind round by round and adjustments that needed to be made along the way for your victory. Man, I know he was quick in coming in the fight. You know, long jab, long reach against me, so much. I was just trying to outbox him the entire fight. Yeah, man. Well, you definitely entered the fight. You found your range, your distance, and your timing, but you would have never have came out on top without your toughness. Congratulations one more time, your winner. Rocky Well deserved. Well deserved. Extremely proud of my stablemates, Rocky Zapata. Beautiful, beautiful performance. <clears throat> and a great opponent by Ray Barlow. He came in, you saw both fighters wanted to fight, even at the last 10 seconds of the bout. I wish I was able to take that photo tonight.